Uh, let me uh, welcome members to the 20th meeting in 2015 of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee and remind everyone uh, to switch off uh, mobile phones as they can affect the broadcasting system. Uh, we have apologies today from uh, Dave Thompson. Agenda item one uh, is for the committee to agree to take items three and four in private. Uh, item three is for members to consider some cross-party group rule changes. And item four is to consider correspondence received from the Public Petitions Committee. Do members agree to take these items in private? We are agreed to take them in private. Item two on today's agenda is for the committee to consider an update on cross-party groups. Um, we've got a uh, considerable uh, amount of material in front of us uh, related to the cross-party groups, um, but I think in particular uh, we might want to focus on action that we should or may take on the cross-party groups on Japan, park homes and video games technology. Uh, can I invite comments from um, colleagues on the committee? Fiona? Um, I on reading this extensive report, thank you very much for going through it all for us. Um, I think the fact that drug and alcohol misuse, Japan, park homes and video games have all been given more than one opportunity to come into line with the rules that cover cross-party groups, given the fact that they still haven't managed to come within those rules, I would suggest that they be disbanded. Um, can I just say, on the drug and alcohol abuse, I understand there's been two attempts to have an AGM which turned out to be in court, and they do have another one scheduled. So I think at least uh, we might consider recognising that they are making some, some efforts. We can decide otherwise that that's not sufficient, but I, I, I just think perhaps uh, there is a slight difference uh, for that group compared to Japan park homes and video technology that we may wish to think about. Except if it's a war, that means they've got enough MSPs around who are interested in going to the group. So I think we shouldn't differentiate. I'm, I'm not trying to lead us to a particular conclusion. I'm merely but pointing two, out... Two attempts. Yeah. If it's one attempt, fire it up. But I think two attempts yeah. shows that there just aren't enough MSPs who are interested in the subject. And we've got so many cross-party groups. Anyway. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in your hands. Yeah, okay. I would be inclined to agree. I mean, it's, the, the rules around cross-party groups um, are, are quite explicit and, and, you know, it's easy to get any help and assistance if um, cross-party groups require it. Um, they know when they're meant to meet. They know the standards they're meant to, to, to maintain. To attend yeah. a cross-party group because yeah. there aren't going to be enough MSPs. So we can always uh -huh. be encouraged to attend, mm -hmm. even if it's not for the whole meeting. So That's I right. just feel that... We shouldn't. Right. I, I, I sense from the, uh, the discussion we're having here that we would be minded to deregister the four groups that have been refer made reference to. That's Japan, Park Homes, Video Games Technology and the Drug and Alcohol Abuse. Um, is anyone otherwise minded? No. Right. Well, I, I, th I think in that case, we're, we're, we're quite clear uh, that we do wish to deregister these groups, which are without any question uh, in default of the rules. So having said that, um, we've got uh, the, uh, a full set of reports. Are there any other matters that people want to put on the record in relation to what we have before us? I think the one other item I would like to raise is the cooperatives. Um, we didn't get a report on them, did we? I didn't see it in the papers. Fiona, did we? Um, I think we told them. I don't remember, to be honest. Sorry. My, my thoughts Sorry. on the cooperatives is just that um, in the summary that we have, um, that although they did have other meetings scheduled to meet the two meetings per year, all of them were in quarry. So perhaps, again, and I wouldn't say deregulate or de at this point, but it's a reminder to them that if they can't be quoted, mm -hmm. there will th it will be considered as a group that's not functioning. I think that's an appropriate. I, I understand there have been there may have been some slight confusion about some of the communication, so I think that would be an appropriate uh, interim yeah. decision for us to take. And I stress the word interim. Uh, those MSPs who are trying to attend or, or who are actively pursuing the issues, uh, it gives them 
if you like, a bit of a stick to hit colleagues with. Mm -hmm. And I think from that point of view, it's probably not unhelpful to yeah. them to do that. No, no, it's, it, it was the way I put it. With an agreement, Kevin. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> uh, right, colleagues, any, any other matters arising from the reports on cross-party groups? No, nope. I get the sense there is uh, nothing more. Uh, that ends agenda item two and uh, ends the public part of the meeting. We now move into private session.